Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to another work lunch ideas video. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Monbento and in this video I'm using their Monbento original bento box in green natural as well as the square version in the same colourway, the matching positive M to go bottle in natural cream and the Monbento Slim Box Cutlery to Go set in natural. The cutlery set comes in its own case and can be used as it is, or the removable silicone cutlery holder can be taken out. And for the Monbento Square Bento Box, the knife, spoon and fork stack up to fit in the upper container diagonally. The lid then fits over top. Then for the original Monbento Bento Box, the silicone holder fits neatly lengthways as it is and again the lid pops right over the top. There's also the Monbento Pochette M transport bag in natural cream which fits the Monbento original bento box perfectly. On to the two meal prep options for the week, the first one being a pea falafel tray bake. For the pea falafels I took one cup of dried chickpeas not tinned or jarred chickpeas, covered them in water in a bowl and soaked them overnight. I then just rinsed and drained them in a sieve, then transferred them to a food processor. I then placed half a cup of frozen peas in a sieve and just run them under hot water to defrost them, shook them off and placed those in the food processor too, along with a small white onion, four cloves of peeled garlic, a handful of fresh coriander, a handful of fresh parsley, two tablespoons of rice flour, two teaspoons of ground cumin, two teaspoons of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of salt, and a good crack of black pepper. I just pulsed that in the food processor until it was all well combined for a few minutes then I just run a spatula around the bowl to make sure that it was mixed well. At this point, I preheated the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Then I took a nonstick baking tray, brushed it with a little olive oil and took around a heaped tablespoon of the pea falafel mixture at a time, dividing it up into 12 and I formed small falafels between the palms of my hands and spaced those out on one half of the tray. I had also sliced up a small aubergine into half circles, so I placed those out on the other half of the baking tray. I brushed both the falafels and the aubergine with a little olive oil and sprinkled on some sea salt. Then I'd quartered two tomatoes, which I placed on two, and I then put those in the oven to bake for 35 to 40 minutes. Halfway through, I took the tray out to turn over the falafels and the aubergine to cook them evenly on both sides. And while it was back in the oven, I made the second meal prep option, which was a pinto bean tuna mayo salad. For this, I placed a can of rinsed and drained pinto beans in a mixing bowl, and I used a fork to just mash them up as best as I could. I then added in a quarter of a cup of vegan mayonnaise, then half a shredded nori sheet, one tablespoon of chopped fresh chives, a teaspoon of dried dill, a teaspoon of onion granules, the zest and the juice of half an unwaxed lemon, one teaspoon of rice wine vinegar, and then I seasoned it with some sea salt and some black pepper. I then mixed all of that together again until well combined and it was looking a little something like this. And then I placed that into an airtight container with some lemon wedges to keep it fresh for the next four days in the fridge. I removed the falafel tray bake from the oven next and I left it to cool completely before I placed the falafels in one container and then I put the roasted aubergines and roasted tomatoes in another container together and everything went in the fridge ready for the week of lunches ahead. On to the lunches and for Monday's lunch I made a pea falafel flatbread wrap 
I took a flatbread which I'd lightly warmed through, then I spread some homemade hummus down the centre. I placed on some of the roasted aubergine and roasted tomatoes and then I added on some pickled red cabbage and three of those pea falafels. I sprinkled some chopped parsley over the top and then I wrapped it up in some parchment paper and twine just to help hold everything together nicely and it also catches anything that falls out of the bottom of the wrap and I placed that in one half of the original Monbento box. I put some hummus in the small food cup that comes with the Monbento original bento box then I placed some spicy crackers on one side. I filled a Monbento sauce cup with some tahini to drizzle into the wrap before eating it. So I kept that separate to stop it going soggy throughout the day. And then I put a handful of mixed berries in the other side. As always, the Monbento lids have a seal to ensure they're leak proof. You press the lid down with a tab open and close the tab to seal it on. They're stackable and secure with an elastic strap. And as I mentioned, these fit perfectly in the Monbento pochette with the cutlery set. With a positive M to go bottle, I fill that up with water and add in some lemon slices just for something a little bit different or I'll add in some fresh mint leaves. This wrap is so, so delicious and so quick and easy to put together in the morning, especially because all of the meal prep is pretty much done already and all of the prep can be done the day or the night before. Homemade falafels are the best way to go. Using dry chickpeas means they're not too moist and so they hold together really well and aren't too crumbly. They're so tasty and the addition of the peas in these adds even more flavor as well as protein. Tuesday's lunch or another idea was a pinto bean tuna mayo salad bagel. For this I took a multi-seeded bagel. I placed some slices of cucumber on first. Then I spread on some of the pinto bean tuna mayo to prevent it all from falling through the middle of the bagel. I added on some slices of tomato and also avocado. Then some salad and I also spread a little more vegan mayo on the lid of the bagel just so that it wasn't too dry. I put that in the main square bento box and then I put some creamy dill hummus chips down the side. In the food cup of the other container I put some vegan vanilla yogurt, added on some of my almond butter toasted oats and some berries as well. Then in the spare part of the container I put a handful of mixada leaves as well as some tomatoes on the vine. I also added some olive oil and a little drizzle of balsamic vinegar to a Monbento sauce cup to use as a salad dressing. So I added that into the box too. The square box again comes with those airtight lids. However, it does come with a smaller elastic strap. So you can use one of the boxes on its own instead of stacking them both as demonstrated here, but it then also comes with the larger elastic strap. So the boxes stack on top of each other and that holds everything together securely. This bagel was so, so good. I love my pinto bean tuna mayo salad. It's a little bit of a different take on a chickpea tuna mayo salad and it's such a great way to make a vegan tuna, especially with the addition of the nori sheet that really gives it a taste of the sea flavor. And then with a crunch of the cucumber, the juicy tomato and creamy avocado, there's loads of textures going on. And again, because of the beans, it makes such a high protein filling, which can also be used in wraps, in sandwiches and on crackers. For Wednesday's lunch, I made a falafel salad box. For this I just packed the main square bento box with a handful of mixed salad leaves. I then had warmed a flatbread so once that had cooled down I cut it up into smaller pieces to fit in the box. I then added in four of the pea falafels, 
and a slice of lemon to just squeeze over the salad. In the food cup of the other container, I put some hummus. And then on top of that, I added some of the roasted aubergine and roasted tomatoes. Then I sprinkled some chopped parsley over the box and also over the hummus. I added some mixed berries into the spare part of that container and I'd cut up a vegan coconut chocolate bar. So I added that in with the berries too. I also filled a on bento sauce cup with some tahini as well to drizzle on as a simple dressing. So I added that in with the salad too. Again, this is a really quick and simple lunch to throw together in the morning before heading off to work. It makes use of everything you have in the fridge for these other lunches, but there's still loads of flavors going on and it's a delicious salad. I find falafels are sometimes one of the only options for vegans when eating out, whether that's a salad or a wrap, and I can personally sometimes get a bit bored of only having a falafel option. But whenever I make these falafels at home, I really enjoy them for lunches. And these falafels with the mixed salad, the little pieces of flatbread, the tahini, the hummus with the roasted aubergine and tomato on top is all a great combination. And there's loads going on, so you can keep kind of picking at everything, which keeps it an interesting lunch and less of a boring falafel salad. Thursday's lunch or another idea are these spicy vegan tuna inspired sushi rolls. For this I took a nori sheet and laid it smooth side facing down. I placed some pre-cooked sushi rice on top and then just wet my fingers to press that down as an even layer to the very edges but leaving it around an inch at the end of the sheet. I then mixed a tablespoon of wasabi sriracha in with the remaining pinto bean tuna mayo salad and then I spread that out across the rice in a line at the top. I'd also sliced up some cucumber and laid that on along with some slices of avocado. I used a sushi rolling mat to roll that up as tightly as possible. As I've mentioned before, I squeeze and roll as I go to keep everything nice and tightly compacted together. I'm not the best at making sushi, but this is as good as it gets for me. I also just wet the end of the sheet to help it all stick together. And then I just slice that up. I put some fresh chopped chives over the top to add even more flavor. And then I sprinkled on some regular sesame seeds and some black sesame seeds, again for flavor, but it also adds a nice little crunch. I placed those in the main Mon Bento original bento box, and I'd placed some soy sauce in a Mon Bento sauce cup to put with them. In the food cup of the second container, I put some vegan vanilla yogurt. I put a small handful of salad on the side with cherry tomatoes and cucumber. And then in the other side, I put some mixed berries. Whenever I've done sushi as a lunch idea before, you guys have always asked for more ideas like these and this spicy, Vegan tuna inspired sushi is a great one. The addition of the spicy wasabi sriracha in the vegan tuna mayo is so good. It works so nicely. The cucumber adds a little bit of a crunch to the roll and the creamy avocado is nice with the heat of the spice. You can add pickled ginger onto these if you have it. Obviously these are best dipped into the soy sauce usually. But the sauce cup is a great way to take the soy sauce and just drizzle it over the top. Instead of the cucumber and avocado, you could always add in some carrot for more crunch and just to change up the flavors a little. Finally, for Friday's lunch, I made a roasted aubergine and tomato pasta salad. For this, I took a portion of pre-cooked leftover pasta and added that to a bowl. And then to that, I added the remaining roasted aubergine and roasted tomatoes from the week, along with a handful of fresh rocket and a small handful of fresh chopped parsley. Then a squeeze of lemon juice, a drizzle of olive oil and some salt and black pepper. I just tossed that all together to combine everything. 
and then I place that in one half of the Monbento square bento box. In the food cup container in the other box, I put some vegan vanilla yogurt along with a vegan salted almond chocolate bar that I chopped up and some berries. Then in the spare section, I put a handful of tomato and basil quinoa chips and a little handful of salad too. This was such a quick and easy pasta to throw together at the very end of the week with the leftover roasted aubergine and tomatoes and just spruced up with a little rocket, parsley and lemon juice. And as always mentioned, it's a great idea to make extra pasta when cooking it for dinner so you have enough leftovers for lunch the next day. And that's it for another work lunch ideas video. As always, the recipes and shopping list are down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.